Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D, I'm Kevin Delp. Today, we're looking at Archon from Hill Gaming Company. Archon by Hill Gaming Company is a two to four player card game, plays in under 30 minutes, and you have like some bidding, you've got some hand management, you've got a little bit of take that, you're trying to collect and control clans, like elf clans and orc clans and dwarf clans and humans, um, and you're trying to do that. To win the game, you have to either have one of each type or one of all types. Let me give you a quick overview. So in the game, you have two main types of cards. You have action cards in the game, and you have clan cards in the game. I'm not going to go through nitty gritty stuff. We did a playthrough video of this, and you're welcome to watch that. I encourage you to watch that on our channel of Archon. But on your turn, you have uh, cards in your hand. Um, you start with five to start the game. And on your turn, you get to play action cards from your hand, one at a time. So I can play an action card. I can continue to play action cards from my hand. Um, until I decide to stop playing action cards. And then there's the bidding phase. The bidding phase is you put up a card for bid, a clan for bid. I'm gonna put up the orc clan for bid. And then I decide to play cards from my hand um, that I wanna try and win the bid. Up in the right hand corner is influence. That will help me hopefully win this bid as I add those up together. So we, I put cards down, someone else, and everyone else in turn order plays cards face down. Then we all reveal, and we count up our um, influence points. I have six, seven, eight, but I also get, for putting this clan up for bid, any clan I put up for bid as the active player, I get what's up in the top right-hand corner as well, two extra. And so that means I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I actually have ten um, bid uh, influence points. Hopefully that makes me win this orc clan. The cards I um, paid or forbid are, are discarded. If you didn't win the bid, you get those cards back in your hand. Then you can put up another uh, clan forbid. If I had those, um, if I had another clan, then I could do that as well. I could put up an elf clan and try to win that as well. You can continue to put uh, cards up, clans up for bid until you want to stop or probably until you don't have any more <laughs> clan cards in your hand. Then you can play more action cards um, from your hand and then you can um, everyone draws one card um, from the top of the deck. But if I put up at least one clan firm bid, I, as the active player, can take a second card um, into my hand. So that's good to keep getting cards into your hand. There's lots of different types of cards in, in, your, in the deck. You're trying to get um, one of each type, an orc, a dwarf, um, let's see, we have a human, and an elf. You're trying to get one of each type of clan and if you can do that first you win or you can try and get four of one type so four orcs or four dwarves or four elves or four humans if you can do that first either four of different types or four of one type you win the game um there's lots of cool cards the gameplay moves fast i wouldn't say like like party game fast um but people do have to read the cards which I enjoy um, trying to figure out what cards to play at the right time and what cards to keep back. There is text in the cards. Uh, for instance, um, I, uh, our game group, even through the playthrough, you can see that we uh, misplayed Shifting Allegiances. Shifting Allegiances is when you play this card, I can choose a target opponent. Like say I had one controlled clan, I could say, hey, Ryan, with Shifting Allegiances, I can play this card and I can take his three that he has and give up my one to him. In doing that, misread this, so foolish, uh, so bad on me, but I should have, he should have taken three cards randomly from my hand, which he did because I took three, but then he um, then I should have taken cards randomly from his hand, equal to the number that I gave him. In this case, I would have won. I think in the video, I gave up two. Should I have, should have taken two cards from his hand? Oh, well. Um, probably lost me the game or something. There's So there is card text that you need to read. Um, make sure that you read it, and uh, you should be able to do well. There's not a lot of um, different cards. There's not like 10 billion different cards. There's um, you know a few different ones you need to 
to read and I think after you play it a few times you'll remember what the cards do a lot of them are you know very self-explanatory uh, choose a target clan and play and put it in your hand there's one like arcane insight that lets you just draw a card so there it is arcane insight draw two cards so that's nice um, the art is great uh, you can see I've been sort of going through the different cards here um, I think they are more realistic, which I think is good. It it um, fits the theme well. It's fun to look at as you're playing the game. And um, even the backs of the cards are kind of cool. You can sort of see the different mountain rages uh, on the back uh, of Archon here. So if you're looking for a shorter type game that has some good card strategy, you like that fantasy theme with the elves and the dwarves, then check out Archon by Hill Gaming Company coming to Kickstarter this February.